There's a Chinese saying, "Qin you gong, xi wu yi," meaning your hard work pays off, but play has no benefits. In this episode of "That's How It Is," I'm going to debunk the myth of play, the good, the bad, and the beauty of play. Play takes many forms. Everyone knows play when they see it, either on the streets, in villages, on playgrounds, or in classrooms. People from every culture, economic background, and community engage in play from their earliest years. When children play, they might not have a clear objective on learning something new. Yet, their play experience creates powerful learning opportunities across all areas of development. For example, when my daughter is playing Lego with her friends, they can try out new social skills. For example, sharing toys with each other, and then agreeing on how to work together with the materials. And they often take on some challenging cognitive tasks, like figuring out how to build a castle in different settings, underworld, space, or anything beyond imagination. Children are hands-on learners. They acquire knowledge through playful interaction with objects and people. Play also teaches children leadership as well as group skills. It is a natural tool that children can use to build their resilience and coping skills as they learn to navigate relationships and deal with social challenges and face their emotions through play. Development and learning are complex and holistic, and yet skills across all developmental domains can be encouraged through play, including motor, cognitive, and social and emotional skills. Indeed. In playful experiences, children tap a breadth of skills at any one time. To date, educators are rethinking how to teach young children to tap their learning potential. Play is one of the most important ways in which young children gain essential knowledge and skills. The lessons learned from play are not something for parents to actively teach. The beauty, actually, is that children discover these gems as they play their games, all in good fun. This is so much for now. I hope to see you next time.